Homelessness is on the rise in the Treasure Valley, and a local man has decided to do something about it. On your side's Tammy Scardino joins us live in the studio with more on a movement that's starting to take shape. That's right, Karen. The Idaho Tiny House Organization is in its early stages. Right now, they're looking for financial partners and donations in the form of basic building supplies. And this particular strategy is very effective, building small, low-cost, energy-efficient houses for those who don't have a roof over their head. The creation of micro-communities has proven to be a success in other metropolitan areas, and the director of the Idaho Tiny House Organization believes it will work here. One of these 98-square-foot structures costs $3,000 to build. Several of the very basic living quarters could potentially fit on a lot big enough for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. We can put 10 of these on, on a lot that size with a central community building, central showers, a central kitchen. A fundraiser for the project was held today at Kleiner Park. Michael Strickland with the Max Giving Foundation was there to show his support. Plus, they're already on board to help raise money for the cause. When we think about homeless here at Max Giving and at Idaho Tiny Houses, we think about our neighbors, we think about our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, people you grew up with. That's who the homeless really are. The movement is statewide, and once the tiny houses are built and property is secured so they can pour the foundations, Matthew Scott will have peace of mind knowing he's helped a growing number of people in need have a good night's rest. I hope that we can build enough to give everybody a, a, that needs a home a home. Building parties will be held every Saturday for anyone interested in helping out. The hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, look for a link on our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. Live in studio, Tammy Scardino, today's 6 on your side.